scholarship. Um, you are the cream of New Zealand's future so congratulations for the process you've been through to get here um, this evening and in anticipation of tomorrow. No matter what happens tomorrow, no matter who the winner or the winners are, you should all be very proud of yourselves for being able to put your ideas out there and share them with everybody. My advice to you, go find your superpower, the thing that you love and you're really passionate about and then just go take over the world. This is the start of a new phase of your lives, actually, for all of you. The people that you meet in this room and in this competition will be friends, in my view, for the rest of your lives. There are very firm friendships that have already been established between alumni members from previous years, and I'm sure that you will continue that. Today we've heard 12 amazing ideas about how we can use science and technology to really better our country. Most of the people in this room wouldn't have heard about those amazing ideas if Eureka didn't exist, right? And so what Eureka does, or what it says, I think, is that the voice of young people matter, okay? And the empowerment that actually comes alongside that can't be understated. So, to all the finalists, this is your moment. Um, this is your moment as leaders, as communicators, as scientists, technologists, engineers, and mathematicians. Uh, so for this, we applaud you, and we thank you for taking part in the Eureka Awards this year. The Sir Paul Callaghan Eureka Awards build on Paul's legacy. Paul inspired us with, its, with his conviction that New Zealanders need to embrace these domains if we are to address the multiple issues and challenges that we face. The young New Zealanders who have participated in the Eureka program and the symposium show that there is cause to be optimistic that yet another net, another generation has the potential, the passion the power to make Paul's dream of a New Zealand being, I quote, the most beautiful, stimulating and exciting place in the world in which to live, happen. When I started in science in the 1970s, scientists who appeared in the media were disparaged. It was thought that they were being showmen. There weren't many women, unfortunately, at those times, so it was largely showmen. They were disparaged as self-serving, as seeking their own interests and self-promotion, we now want our best scientists to also be communicators. We want the scientists to explain and listen at the same time, to explain what they know and, and explain what they don't know. We also want them to listen to the public about what are the priorities that science can help them address. So I really applaud all those who are involved with the Eureka Awards because we want our best scientists to also be communicators. The judges noted that the uh, high school uh, uh, finalists, um, their competency and skill and level of presentation has gone up an extra cog. And I'm sure anyone who's there noted that. And as a consequence, 
For the first time tonight, we will have a school's premier winner. And we will also have, for the first time, a woman award winner. Thank you.